Hello, in this video I will show you how uh, I managed to hack this uh, server side power supply to use it uh, as a standalone uh, power supply for remote control applications. Uh, this is Dell uh, A502P power supply. I searched to the internet but I didn't found any uh, any information about the the pins and the pin uh, output uh, that's why I decided to hack it and uh, I found very useful forum uh, and follow the instructions there it is lcgroups.com you can find the link to the bottom of the video uh, and what actually uh, I first did is to make uh, a schematic like this with the pins in the power supply and start measuring each and every pin resistance to the, the ground. The case is the ground uh, in this case. Uh, I used a uh, crocodile cable, some jumper cables uh, this is uh, 470 uh, ohm resistors and I used a multimeter to measure the voltage and the resistance of uh, the pins. So first uh, I'll grab a, a jumper cable and start measuring each and every resistance of each and every pin. Uh, related to the to the ground, uh, I'll use the crocodile clips to uh, to ground my multimeter, and I will measure each and every pin and see what is the resistance related to the ground. If the pin resistance is below one kilo ohm or above 10 kilo ohms uh, it's not our pins actually we're looking for two pins which are uh, PSQ and PS ohm pins uh, that's what we're looking for so by measuring all the resistance of all the pins this is what 10.7 kilo ohms by measuring all the resistance of all the pins, I came to uh, this schematic. We can usually exclude all the pins that are uh, with resistance infinity or uh, that that the pin is uh, the ground pin or the, it's zero resistance. Uh, this 100 ohm pin also we can exclude. This also we can exclude this also we can exclude and actually we have one two three four five six seven pins that we need to check and see uh, now what is the voltage of uh, these pins related to the to the ground let's hook up the the power When I power the the power supply, uh, the LED the, the LED is a green light. But actually, when you measure the voltage between the the power pins, there is almost no voltage. It's 130 milliohms. That's why we need to uh, make this, uh, find this PSQ and PS on, on uh, pins and uh, connect them to the ground in order to start the, the power supply. Uh, so now the next step is to uh, measure the voltage of every pin that we found interested and see what is it. 
and this is the diagram. I will start with the uh, with this pin. The voltage is almost zero, so we don't care about this pin. Uh, usually, the PS on and PS Q switch are uh, high, red to the ground, so there is some kind of uh, voltage there. So this pin is 3.3 volts. The next pin is also 3.3 volts. And when you measure all the the voltage, I came to this diagram. So we have this pin, this pin, this, this, and these two that are uh, interested for us. To continue the experiment, we need to connect these pins with uh, 500 ohms, or in my case, uh, 470 ohms resistors to the ground and see what voltage we will have uh, in the power, power pins. And that was the minus, that was the, the plus. So, uh, let's see the diagram. We need this pin, this pin. Uh, which one? This, this, this one also. If you don't have jumper cables, you can just uh, solder the, the resistors to the pins. And this pin. Uh, which one? This one. This one and one more. I think it was this one. Okay. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four into six. So uh, I will take the resistors. I need six resistors. I will connect uh, one end of the resistor, resistors, uh, with the with the crocodile to the ground, and then we will connect each and every end of these jumper cables to the resistors. And then I will power the power supply and see what will happen. If we have found the PSO and PSQ switch, it should uh, we should see some voltage in the voltmeter. Now that will be a difficult task. You see, there is 12 volts in the power clamps. Oh, one of the, the jumper cable was just slipped over, slipped off. So now in this case, uh, that's not saying very well. Uh, we are starting to remove one by one the jumping cables and see which which one will interrupt the the 12 volt in the power cable in the power clips this one it's okay this one it's okay this one okay this is one of our our pins that we need to to connect to the ground this one okay this was this is the, the second one and we don't need this one. Uh, I lost them. Okay, that's the two pins that we need. These are the cables. So I will, I will try to remove 
all the other Jopper cables. We don't need these ones. We don't need this one. Okay, these are our uh, PS on and PSQ uh, pins. I will remove the power supply just for safety. This one and this and this one are our uh, pins. I'll connect them just this uh, these pins here because they are grounded. And we will see and we will turn on the the power supply again. Here and here. Let's turn the power supply on. Voila! We have 12 volts at the end. This is the steps that I used to uh, hack this power supply and return it from, from a uh, server side to a standalone power supply that I can use for the, my uh, remote control tools. If you like the video, subscribe, like it. Bye.